Hey, Tony, you got a coffee, Tony? No, I got it. Uh, there's quite a hole in this plate. Do you want to come look? Well, that's a nice mess. We uh, will not be working here today by the looks of it. We'll see what we can come up with. Because if you don't take care of your crap, you're going to be down for quite some time. Damn it. Without a trauma, or kind of completely. I mean, there is plenty of issues with it. The trauma, that is our main mean of sluicing down here. That could be the difference between four and a half or 5,000 ounces. King of the Klondike, Tony Beats, has hit a wall. Any day now, winter could shut down his whole operation, and his money-making machine is at a standstill. We should have fixed the thing three years ago when we got back here. We didn't, taking our chances ever since. So this is what happens when you don't look after your I guess. Tony still needs another 400 ounces of gold from the 80 pup cut to hit his 5,000 ounce season target. I'm gonna go over shed with the boys because, you know, they're just kind of silly. We gotta have to come up with something, try something, do something to get a couple of ounces for the time we're down with something else. Hey, guys. Hey, what's up? What's happening? Is that old rumble mess? So when are we gonna do some real fixes? There's a lot of things we gotta deal with. I know there's a whole pile of problems with it, but I would like to see if we can squeeze the end of the season out of the thing. So, like, all the things wrong with the plant, it's going to be at least a week before we can even limp to the end of the season. At least a week. Fixing it. Just, just yeah, to get it ready to limp. We're down and we got to do something. Yeah. So what else is out there? Well, you can use the Moose Creek trommel. I mean, we can try. It shouldn't take too much to make it runnable. Well, it would be nice if you can keep on sluicing it. Eh? Yeah, but the last time we used it, that I mean, wasn't that great either. Tony's only other wash plant on Paradise Hill... Oh, you seen that, that Kevin? ...is a mobile trommel he hauled out of Moose Creek two seasons ago. We got it. But on its first fire up... Disaster struck. Tell it out, That thing clogs rough, and then the water can't go nowhere. Forcing Tony to abandon it. They ain't cutting it. We can make it work. We got lots of pay still sitting there. There's no point in letting it sit there when we're going to be sluicing it. True enough. I mean, the last time we used it, we kind of called it quits a bit early. Mm -hmm. Decided it. I wouldn't mind not if we got a bit of time while you're fixing the trauma. Let's take a half a day or whatever it takes to get that one set up. As long as it doesn't take too much time away from what you're doing on the big one, then... We can attempt. So, Moose Creek trauma is. Let's go for it. At the main trauma, Tony puts his mechanics to work. Let's cut this old one out and lay a new one in. And let's do it. 600 feet away, he's tasked Len Hoekstra with ensuring the quick fix Moose Creek trommel will actually fire up. It all depends on the Moose Creek trommel now if we got our 5,000 ounces. So all the pressure is on me to get it going. We started this trommel up last time, it was years ago. So it will be a round to get it going. I don't like a sound in one of the hydraulic valves. I hear a noise in it. It looks like there is a little bit of air in the, in the hydraulics. The nah, it's a lot of oil, but that's not how it should be. It's always something with this thing. Tony, do you have a copy? Yeah, go ahead, Len. Heck, I got an oil leak. Okay, we'll be right there. Next thing, you know, the whole thing is not gonna work. The oil cooler here. 
That's what I'm thinking. Mike, hold it up. God, there's the old door. The trouble is that the last time we used it, we did not drain our oil cooler. By not draining the oil cooler, the oil cooler busted. At this point in the season, I'm really, really not going to want to with that. The thing is, if we run and we put the water to it, we're going to contaminate the whole system. Yeah. And that ain't going to happen. Oh, we say we take the oil cooler out of it. Your engine overheat without the oil cooler? Oh, well, we could, we could run nah. along. No, we could run it long enough, Mike, to make yeah. it work. That's the thing. That's what we got to try. So what we're going to do is we're going to block off the oil cooler and just run it without. The oil cooler pumps cold water around the wash plant's hydraulic oil barrel, preventing it from overheating. But water was not drained from the fine copper pipes before winter. The water froze and expanded, causing the pipes to crack. If water contaminates the hydraulic oil, it will cause catastrophic damage. Tony's risky solution, drain the water and block off the oil cooling system entirely. What are we gonna do if this doesn't work, Dad? I have no clue. I have no clue. So, we cut off our water supply to our oil coolers so that they cannot get any water. And once these are all tight, oil is topped up, we are good to go. Now that everything's buttoned up and tightened, put a bit more oil in it, and uh, yeah, we can get it spinning, get it in position. So let's do some cleanup and get going. So this is all ready to go, guys? Yes. Everything should be a okay and ready We've to go. We've got the water eliminated. Doesn't go in there anymore. Correct. So we'll fire up, lift the legs up. We'll see how it runs. Yep. And then let's hook a cat to it. What do you think? Yep. Okay. Fire up, Len. Let's yep. see what's going to happen, OK? All right, see? At least that part is working and good. Perfect. Off the ground with this. Yeah, we got her. We got her. Doesn't make any funny noise, so uh, we got it. Finally. Very happy about it. The Moose Creek Trommel is now ready to move up to the 80 pup pay pile and start washing gold. Just a matter of an hour and you'd have the in place. Let's try this thing.